Several other incidents occurred while I was in Ark Royal, which uh, was a great ship. We <clears throat> had just come out of Plymouth after Christmas one year, and we received a signal to proceed uh, with all dispatch to British Honduras. British Honduras is where there's a city called Belize, which people have heard of more than British Honduras. The next door country, Guatemala, <clears throat> was planning to invade British Honduras, uh, and the uh, British forces in British Honduras were virtually negative. I think there were a hundred army people there, and that was about all. So we had to steam across the Atlantic at full speed, and after two days we got two buccaneers airborne, and they flew uh, about 600 miles, and then they did flight, air flight refueling from two other buccaneers who'd gone with them, and that topped up their tanks. They then did 700 miles to Belize. They beat the town up so all the Guatemalan spies could see that the navy was around. And then they set off back for the ship. 700 miles from the ship, they met two buccaneers to refuel because they couldn't have made it otherwise. Uh, and then they landed back on board. And uh, one army colonel, when he was talking about this, said the Ark Royal prevented the start of World War III. Because unlike the Falklands, uh, Belize was landlocked. I mean, it was on the sea, but uh, Mexico was close to it, uh, and the Americans would have been very unhappy about this going on so close to them whereas the Falklands were 300 miles out to sea and nobody else worried about it. 